I'm getting ready to make apple pie and I'm not going to bake it right now. I'm going to put it, get it all prepped and put it in the freezer uh, for what I would like to do for Thanksgiving or Christmas or even to have in the freezer if we had unexpected company. So I've got some apples here. The recipe says seven medium. I have five, but they're very large, so I think they'll be just fine. Some lemon juice, nutmeg, cinnamon, three tablespoons of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and a deep dish pastry shell. I like these Marie calendars. I think they're the best. So first of all, I'm going to get started peeling and chopping these apples. So to this, we're going to add the lemon juice and toss that to the apples from going brown. A half a cup of sugar, a half teaspoon of cinnamon, the eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. The three tablespoons of flour, and then just toss it. And like I said, or maybe I didn't, this is the same recipe as what I used for the apple crisp, and I have a video on that already, but I just thought it would be nice to show, show it in pie form and how you can freeze it, make it ahead, prep it ahead and freeze it and then use it for later on a day that's, that's busy and you don't want to spend as much time in the kitchen. Okay, so that's mixed up nice and then get your prep prepared pastry out. I'm only going to use one, so I'm going to wrap this other one up very tightly to use again, probably for pumpkin pie sometime. So I'm just going to put the apples into the pastry. Now these cook down quite a bit. We didn't want it quite so full. It would be fine, but these are going to cook down so that it'll probably be even with the top of the pastry. So I think it's fine. And we're going to make a crumb topping to go on top of this. Now the other thing I wanted to say was that if you wanted to, instead of apple crunch pie, if you wanted to make cherry crunch pie, just get a couple of cans of cherry pie filling and put them in. Now with that you wouldn't even necessarily have to make it ahead of time because there's not that much prep involved but um, I just get a couple of cans of cherry pie filling and put them in the pastry and then put my crumb filling on top so I'm just going to wrap this up really well now and 
put it in my freezer for another day. Okay, this should protect it from any freezer burn. To make the topping, I usually don't even bother to Clean the bowl up. Just use the same bowl that I had the apples in. Take a stick of cold butter, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. And it's not packed very well, so I'll put a little bit more in. One cup of flour, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, then with a pastry blender, just cut in that butter until it resembles peas. Now for those of you saying that you don't have time for this, you can put this in a food processor. have one but I find this therapeutic in a way anyway. Okay this goes into a Ziploc bag when you're done and in the freezer. If I had been thinking ahead I would have packaged it in with the pie. all the air out and we'll put that in your freezer and if the um, pie crust around the edges or tops or the top starts to burn you can put foil around um, on top and then around the edges so that's apple pie in a couple of weeks, I will show how I take it out of the freezer and bake it uh, when I do all of the Thanksgiving side dishes that um, I've been freezing. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.